trailers. I love trailers. Don't you? They're the perfect bite-sized appetizers for an upcoming cinematic feast. A thrilling preview that sparks our curiosity and leaves us craving more. In today's video, I'm going to use a free editing software called CapCut, where we'll go through a few features that makes a perfect cinematic trailer. Now, CapCut is available on mobile as well as on the desktop. Today, I'll go through the desktop version. So, let's dive straight in. This is inside the CapCut. I've already imported a short film of mine called The Catalyst. So, you can play the clip here. As you can see, it's a full film. I need to cut it into a trailer. Now, there's a couple of ways of cutting this whole film into different scenes so I can put into a trailer. You can drag it down like this into the timeline, which you can play it and then cut it. Or what you could do is go to the um, top and right click and they give you option for split scene. What this does is CapCut uses AI to find out where the scenes start and stop and automatically splits them up for you. Here's all the scenes that's been cut and I've arranged the clips I want to put in the trailer here. This one at the bottom is to just get the sound for this clip. So let's, uh, let's give it a play. I'm a messenger from the gods. It's a warning of great danger that threatens the kingdom. No! Huh? You believe her? As you can see in here, that wasn't great. So let's make it better. First of all, what we're going to do is you can see the audio level here. We're going to drag that sound out because that music doesn't really suit the trailer. And then we're going to put in my own music uh, over this, even though there is access to uh, various different music tracks in the library. But for the purpose of this trailer, I will add my own music. So this is the track I've added. Let's have a play. I'm a messenger from the gods. It's a warning. So that's a lot better with music already. What I want to do is have a better opening to the trailer. Now I'll go to effects for the videos and you can see there's different type of effects in the video section. There's some really cool ones that you don't normally see in other video editors. But for this trailer, I'm going to do like a kind of opening from bl black, like, like this. You see, that's a preview of what it looks like. Uh, so I drag that down to the clip. Now let's play. That was a little bit too slow. So I can finish the effect a bit earlier, right about here, just drag it across. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Now next, I want to put a text over the top of the first clip. Um, again, you can go top left to text, do the different text you can add. For this trailer, I'm going to put default text, you drag it down, right about here, and I'm going to type in uh, a Blake Ridder film and make it a little bit smaller. Let's see what it looks like. That was a bit boring, so let's make it more interesting. So top right has got different options here for the text. You can have different type of text color and then underneath uh, effects tab, you've got different type effects. Uh, it's really cool that again, I don't see that in any of the editors. But what we want is animation where you go in and give you this pre-made animation for any type of text you've written. For this, I think what it looks good, it would be something like that. So let's click that. I have a message it from looks the pretty box. good, but it needs an animation to finish off as well. So I'll go to the Out tab, select the same effect as before, and then click that. I have a messenger from the gods. Now I want to add some sound effects to the text. So inside the audio, you can see all the sound effects. It's a large list for you to pick from. For, for this, I want to like a whoosh sound effect. So if I type in whoosh and pick this one, adjusting the sound effects to the right place and red level. Now next is a really, really cool feature. If you look at this actress lips, I can even change the color. For example, I want it to be redder. Now you can go to the right and click enhance. And there's loads of options. You can press face. You can make the face really smooth. 
Um, again, this is a very unique tool that I don't see anywhere else. But if we go down to the makeup section, what this does is the program uses a clever AI to find the lips and then apply the color. Messenger from the gods. Now I want to add some video transition between these two clips because it's from a still to action. You go to transition and you have a bunch of really, really, really cool transitions that you can pick from. Again, I just want a simple one for this uh, trailer. So I pick the black fade, I put it between the two clips. Oh, no. huh? You believe her? Now let's watch back the whole edit. I have a messenger from the gods. It's a warning of great danger that threatens the kingdom. Ah. Ah. No. Huh? You believe her? So there you go. Those are the few features that I really love while using Capco. Now, if you want to try yourself, there's a link in the comment below. You feel free to download and remember it's free to use. Until next time.